Now, he's part of America's greatest generation, and today he's marking a birthday not many people get to celebrate. A World War II veteran turning 102 years old, uh, Rob Olson joins us now live from North Branch. So, Rob, what an incredible opportunity to meet him. Yeah, I tell you what, always a great opportunity to meet our World War II veterans, you know, losing them in the U.S. a couple hundred a day, it's estimated. You know, there's probably less than 5,000 alive in Minnesota alone. Uh, when you celebrate a birthday, your World War II vet and the numbers in the triple digits, you know, that is a reason to have a, a big celebration. Happy birthday, dear Ken. For Ken Swanson, who grew up on a Minnesota farm in the Depression, it's pretty fitting his family isn't wasteful with his birthday sign. Well, we had it for his 100th, so we covered up the zero with a one for the 101st. And this year, for 102nd, we made a two out of the one. Yes, Ken Swanson is now 102 years old. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? I'm very lucky. <laughs> my mind is working pretty good. I, my hearing is bad, otherwise I, I'm doing real fine. It is not just his age and health that's remarkable, it's that Ken is a veteran of World War II. There are only about 200,000 vets still surviving. What do you think when uh, people call you the greatest generation? I'm going to have to agree with them. <laughs> Ken was drafted into the Army in 1942, and when they found out he could type, they made him company clerk for combat engineers. Moving through the Pacific Theater, he was at five major invasions, but in a role that kept him out of direct combat. When I went home, the hardest thing was when I went by the cemetery in the Philippines where all the my buddies uh, didn't make it back. It was hard to see that. For this 102nd birthday, Ken got to go out fishing for a couple of hours and caught a couple of sunfish. For his party on the back patio of his assisted living facility, given the honors by the American Legion musicians, a man of the greatest generation who's looking forward to doing this again next year. That would be nice. My mother was 103 and a half, and her kid sister was 106. So for the 103rd, we'll just add a little tail here and somehow... <laughs> yep, we're already planning it for next year. You know, when Ken returned home from the war in World War II, became an electrician, he said he loved it. When you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. He's looking good, his mind is good, and uh, we certainly salute him for his service in World War II. Live in North Branch, Rob Olson, Fox mm. 9. Well, you can tell he's lived his life with a positive attitude. Oh, Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ken. Well